Scientists always wanted to identify genes and regulatory sequences that control various traits and are responsible for disease occurrence. And having a detailed landscape of an organism's genome is an essential need for it. Several projects on sequencing the entire DNA or genomes of several organisms have been initiated and successfully completed. But as a researcher, it is important to know about the completeness of genome sequence of an organism and what are the differences between a draft genome and a finished genome or a complete genome. Hello and welcome to Genomics series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. Different organisms have different size genomes. Eukaryotes mostly have huge and repetitive genome. Such genomes are difficult to sequence in one go. So the genome is first chopped into smaller fragments which are then sequenced. This is known as shotgun sequencing. And assembling these short fragments into contigues, scaffold and whole genome is a cumbersome exercise that requires huge computational resources, algorithms and often is not accurate. As a result, the sequence genome might have gaps which are unsequenced regions. There can be misaligned or misoriented regions too. Such kind of incomplete genome sequence is termed as draft genome. You can learn more about what are reads, contigues, scaffolds and how they are different from each other in my another video. The draft genome is still suitable for several applications such as gene identification, DNA marker development and others. To fill in the gaps and properly align the genome to obtain complete and highly accurate information about the entire genome, resequencing or using sequencing platforms like Pacific Biosystem or Nanopore that sequences longer reads are useful. This way you get complete genome or finished genome. Finished genomes are highly useful to study comparative genomics, evolutionary relationships and nonetheless gene identification, gene mapping and others. I hope this clears the differences between draft and finished genome. Then there is a reference genome and pan genome. More information about them can be found in these videos. If you like the information, do share it with others. It really motivates me to make more such videos. Comment below for your suggestions or requests. I usually respond to each of them. Do check out my other videos on transcriptomics, genomics, bioinformatics, research, publishing, techniques, plant tissue culture and others. Thanks and see you in my another video.